All right, here we are in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to show you how to make a logo uh, actual size or really any artwork you, you have, but let's go with this for now. Um, first of all, let's open our transform palette. That's the big, uh, the big dog in this situation. And we're going to, also going to go up here to view and pull down to rulers and show rulers. There you go. Um, so, we have these open. You can see that right now that this is a, I clicked on it and it shows me it's 732.0071 pixels by 328. Okay, so let's, um just for the sake of changing it quickly, if you want to know how to do this fast, just go 800 and I'm going to show it. It just made it wider. It did not make it taller, so it's unproportional. So here you click on the link and then now they're now the top uh the width and height are linked so i'm going to go 800 and you're going to see it's also going to get taller so you have a proportional and non-proportional toggle right there and to change your units if you don't want pixels you can just simply click on the ruler with right click and go to inches now we've got inches say i want this guy to be 12 inches wide for you know back of a t-shirt something like that boom and you know the sense is linked it did carry uh, that transformation into the height as well. And if you want to change these preferences um, for going forward for new files as well, as opposed to just this one, you can go to preferences and units, change it here. If you don't do that and you just do it in the rulers, it's only going to change uh, their units for this document alone. But that's the transform palette. And that is how you, you make something like a logo or anything really actual size. If you print it at 100% scale, it'll come out this will be 12 inches wide. So hopefully that helped. If it did, hit like, leave me a comment. Thanks.